Welcome back, part three. Uh, this is going to include some core work, meaning abdominal, stomach, middle of the body work, which creates a lot of stability basically in everything you do, protects your back, protects you overall with most, you know, mundane activities in general. And then some stretch and some cool down, which can feel good to move on to the rest of your day. So we're going to start on the floor. And basically, I'm going to show each exercise. We're going to run through it for a 10 count and then move on to the next exercise. So first exercise, feet are going to be bent out in front of you, feet on the floor. So you actually, I mean, you could use a water bottle for added weight if you want here. I'll show you that alternative. Um, so the option that Elaine's going to do is hands behind the head. So we're going to straighten the right leg and then cross to the left leg and then opposite, switch it out. So opposite elbow to opposite knee. Straighten that leg, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Now, if you want to give this a little bit more work, you can always angle back a little bit and but make sure you are up straight for that work. And then if you want to do the step above that, you can always go into an elevated bicycle. And an option for using the weight would be to twist with the added weight. And you could even do that with the feet on the ground, twisting with that added weight. So we're ready. We're going to go into a 10 count. So right elbow, left knee. Let's go. So 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, chest up, 7, 6, Six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, and last one, each side, breathe, calm it awesome, we're going to come into a plank position, options here, right, same options we talk about, so you can either do a full plank, you can do this on all fours, if you want to find some place in between that to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can come in front of the knees. This might be a little challenging for this move because we're going to be pulling the knees in, knees in. So you have to really make room to pull those knees in. So basically we're going to be pulling one knee in, other knee in, and then we're going to tap the front with the right arm, tap the front with the left arm. So I'm going to be doing that in a full plank position. So ready? Get into your plank and let's go. Right knee in, left knee in, step front, step front. That's one. Breathe it out. Tap, tap, two, tap, tap, three. You can always experiment and then pull back. Four, five. So strong through that upper back. No matter what position. Six. Core pulled in tight. Seven. Eight. This is strength work. Feeling strong. Last one. Tap. And tap. Awesome. We're going on our backs. So I'm going to do the side view just to show you. So. We're both going to be on our back, be flat on the floor. Now, as an option, if you feel uncomfortable sitting with your head on the floor, you can always put a folded towel or fold up the end of the mat to kind of elevate your head a little. That makes you feel a little more comfortable, a little more at ease being on the floor here. Totally fine. So, Elaine is going to reach arms straight up to the ceiling. We're going to use those upper abdominals. I'm gonna reach up, shoulders off the floor, and come back down. And I'm gonna go up for a full overhead sit up, and then come back down. So we're gonna do that in a 10 count. Option for weight here, you can do it in that reach, or you can do this with the overhead sit up. I'm gonna go back, and we're gonna start our count. Ready? Let's go. One, two, exhale on that crunch. Three, reach for that ceiling. Four, 
Go for the those shoulders off the floor. Five. Six. Core tight. Seven. Eight. Two. Nine. And ten. Release. Take a breath. Last one here. Legs are going to be straight out. Option for Elaine. She's going to have those hands under her hips so that she doesn't have to worry about that arch in the lower back because you should really focus on engaging that stomach to the spine. Trying to get your lower back solid underneath you towards the ground. And Elaine's going to do a right leg lift and then a left leg lift. Now again, if you're trying to move to next levels from here, you can leave that opposite leg resting on the floor, or you can always elevate that other leg. And then I'm gonna be pulling that leg in. So creating a little bit of stretch, pulling that leg in with each pump. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Pull it in, pull it one. Two, using those lower abs. Three. Exhale on the up. Four. Control both directions. Five. Mind muscle connection. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Make them strong. Nine. Last one. Ten and ten. Awesome. Hug the knees. Little congratulatory hug. Rock along the back. Maybe circle through the hips a little. Really release that tension. Exhale, let it go. Feet flat on the floor. We're gonna cross. Actually, stop. We're gonna take that right leg to the ceiling. So you can grab at the hamstring, back of the thigh. You can grab at the calf, whatever works for you. But pull that leg towards your chest. Again, as a side view, this does not need to be a straight leg. It could be a bent leg. Pull that stomach and make room. But try to feel a stretch along the back of the leg. You can release it. So cross that right leg over the left leg. So you're crossing at the knees. So here you drop the knees to the right and arms go into a t-shape on the floor shoulders staying on the floor that left hip is pulling away from the knees breathe it out back to the middle put on the floor so now we're going to turn our legs into a figure four shape so that right knee is going to kind of wing out away from the body that left ankle is going to be across sorry that right ankle is going to be across that left knee so push on that right inner thigh, opening up that right hip. And then to go a little deeper, you can grab that left hamstring, pulling that ankle towards your chest. Great, let it go. Both feet on the floor, left leg straight up, pulling up the hamstring and the calf towards your chest. Exhale, pull a little deeper. Release it, crossing the legs at the knees, so left over the right. Twist the legs down to the left, knees down to the left, arms in a T. And then that right hip pulls away from the knees, opening up for that side of the body. Coming back up. So now we wing that left leg out, right? Figure four, left ankle over the right knee. Pushing on that left inner thigh, opening up through the hip. And then a little deeper, you can grab that right hamstring, back of the thigh, pulling the ankle towards your chest. And we breathe. We exhale, pull a little deeper. Awesome. Release it. Hug the knees. Another hug. If you want, you can even lift the chin to the chest, creating a little ball. Open up through the spine. Exhale, hug it in. Release. Now, a really good way to get off the floor from this position would be to roll over onto your side into that fetal position and then push 
your stuff up with the hands. All the way up, standing position. Arm stretch, right arm across, left arm pulls that arm towards you. Opening up to the upper back, the shoulder. Release it, switch it out, left arm, straight across, right arm pulls that left arm towards your body. Breathe it out, shoulders stay down your back. Release it, right hand goes behind the head, it reaches down the spine, taking that left hand, pushing on that right elbow, opening up for the tricep. And remember, head presses up against that bent arm. Chest open, core tight. Release, switch it out. Left hand behind the head. That hand reaches down the spine. Right hand pushes on that elbow to reach that arm even deeper into that tricep stretch. Breathe. Release. Arms up, inhale. Big breath. We're gonna arch your back. Looking for that back wall. Core tight. Bringing the hands into the chest. Thank you so much for joining for these three sessions and have a great day. Take good care. Thank you.